this point, you just might be wondering where we've been for the last two weeks. We haven't posted any content, and I can tell you, we've been shopping for motorcycles, and specifically for G-Money's motorcycle. She's a bit vertically challenged there with a shorter inseam, and just finding something that was dual sportish that we could ride on the trails as well as the dirt roads and mountain forest service roads was a bit challenging. She fit the dirt bikes the best because obviously they have ranges there for all ages, but if the statement of origin says it's for off-road use only, good luck on getting it titled and tagged in the state of North Carolina. The Honda Ground seemed to fit her best, so perhaps if we put some knobby tires on it, we can turn it into somewhat of a dual sport motorcycle for her. It's a bit easier to find a dual sport motorcycle for me because I am taller, and so our journey begins. <laughs> On this trip, we weren't necessarily looking to shop for motorcycles, but I was having trouble finding exactly what I wanted near me. So we made a trip down to South Carolina and we stopped off at one of the state parks there to camp. And uh, lo and behold, doing some searching around, I found exactly what I wanted at Upstate Cycle. So on the fly at the state park, we reconfigured the van, took the bed completely out, turned it on its side, and made room for our new motorcycle. Change the oil. You got one big drain plug here on the yeah. bottom and one at the back. Just remember one at the back does the transmission. Okay. The one at the front does the motor. Okay. Okay, it basically the only thing I... <laughs> it looks like it has a bong for some kind of I'm sensor, gonna, Yeah, the, in Italy, uh, they do have to run them. Okay. And I'd go in this mode, because that's going to knock the corner off the power. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, my AA riders, they keep in this mode all the time. They never go to the other mode. So we picked up my new Beta 390 RRS. There was just no room for a second motorcycle in the van's current configuration. All right, we got to go get this bad baby uh, registered with the DMV. So I can get a uh, license plate and get the title. All right, boys and girls, she loaded up. The pig is loaded up. I'm about to go get it inspected. We passed. By this time, a week or so had passed, and it was time to go find G Money's Grom. She wanted a very specific color, and it was the Grom SP. So this is a 2023 Grom SP with ABS brakes. We went and picked that up at a motorcycle dealership not too far from where I grew up and uh, headed back. And we immediately had to get to work on teaching both G Money and H Money how to ride a motorcycle. All right, so we have this uh, Honda Grom seat. I'm gonna try to shave it down a little bit to uh, maybe get a half inch, maybe five eighths of an inch lower. And I started to uh, take the staples out. So I've gotten a little bit of ways done. And I'm just using the staple remover. Get it up under there like that. Pull up one edge, twist. We got the uh, cover off. Now we just need to peel the plastic off. And this is what they put on there to keep your seat from soaking up water when it rains and giving you that big old wet butt look. All right, so here's our seat. We're gonna try to draw some lines on this seat and shave it down. All right, with the magic of a angled straight edge and a marker, I put some marks on the seat and I may not go as deep as the marks are but they give me a starting point all right i've got the seat back on the motorcycle i'm in the garage because this part's a little bit messy so uh i've got my initial carve in it's a rough line cut now and i'm just going back in with the uh if you have one of these electric knives it works great um you just you just need to saw back and forth as this sawing back and forth with the motor and it'll it'll shave off pretty good after you've cut the bolt down with the carving knife, go back with a hand sander and some coarse sandpaper and smooth it off. So that's the seat after I shaved it down. Probably gained about a half inch. And uh, I had a dip here and then a real like severe angle here for the back. And that does not work if you're gonna reuse the vinyl cover because that essentially makes the seat longer and there was just not enough material to cover the seat. So I went back and I just flattened that out and got enough removed so that the vinyl could stretch all the way on the seat. So we've got it restapled and it looks pretty darn good. To raise the forks into triple clamps, this is the method I'm gonna have to use because the problem with the Grom is 
and this is going to be a problem off-road too is that it comes out the engine's kind of a horizontal engine there exhaust runs right out the bottom so the lifts for these well i just don't have a lift for it you could probably get a car jack under, under it but i've got this um pull-up bar it's rated for uh with the bolts that i have through the studs up there well above any of the uh weight because i'm only going to pick up just slightly the front end of this thing so it really just support the weight so that the forks don't fall out three on each side two on the bottom one on the top you can see i've already been working on the height here mark it off to the top of the, the nut at the top and that's how much you need to move the other one Putting the uh, Schinker, the Schinko mobbers, <coughs> knobbies on G Money's motorcycle. Here's the Grom with the knobbies on. That's what she looks like with her knobbies. Room, room. All right, good morning. We are uh, getting packed up here to head to Georgia Off-Road Park, formerly known as Durham Town. I guess you could say this is our inaugural ride to Georgia Off-Road Park. <clears throat> we just got a little bit more packing to do and we'll be ready to go. Medium buck riding in the transfer position today. What you got to say about that? Where's your motorcycle at? Sausage. Lodge registered before parking right here. More people out here than I thought. Boys, we're gonna check in. We got a lodge. Thirteen thousand five hundred. All right, boys and girls, we made it. We gotta unload. This is our place. The squirrels nest. In case you're wondering about the size of squirrel's nest, it's about the size of a good uh, large van. Maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah. Gee, money's almost taller than the shower. Toilet. Hello. Is that the mosquito? Ah, mosquito. Ah, my, my. Hey, shit. CRF 125. The Grom. The Beta Feta. Oh, I got some dude over there, right? And then we got her. First time in boots. Should be a blast. We have the local guard cat. Trash, Trash can. He almost made it up this. If I take it off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got back from our first ride. There's the Grom, the Beta, and the CRF in the background. And uh, we're just having some, uh, some lunch before we go back out. We're not, we're not doing a lot of videoing around here because, well, first of all, we got two new riders and I'm a re-entry rider, so it's uh, just trying to get used to the bikes and break them in before we actually do some videos. <clears throat> right now we can't get into it because we need a couple hours to break in on it at least. And then H Money is a rental, so we don't want to get in on that thing too much because we got a thousand dollar deposit on that bad baby and uh, we don't want her, you know, to drop it and accidentally break something. So, kind of being a little bit careful and so it's not gonna make interesting content. 